Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be testing out some new Aussie drugstore makeup. I've been spending a lot of time at Priceline lately and I've got a bunch of new goodies here to show you so let's just get straight into it. First up, I've got a primer and I'm sure you know what it is and I hope that you're just as excited about it as I am. It's the NYX Marshmallow Primer. There has been so much hype around this primer and let me tell you, it's all absolutely worth it. Some of the products I'm using today I haven't tried before, but this one I couldn't help myself and I had to dip into it. Now it doesn't say much on the bottle about what it claims to do, but online it says that it is a 10 in one multitasking primer infused with soothing marshmallow root extract. So it claims to smooth, soothe, soften, extends makeup wear for 16 hours, hydrates, evens tone, minimizes texture, blurs lines, adds a soft focus finish, and it keeps makeup fresh. I found it to be super hydrating and it definitely blurs the skin. I haven't noticed much when it comes to longevity of makeup, but those two things are more than enough for me and I love it just for that. So it has quite a soft whipped texture. You really don't need much. Half a pump is more than enough. I like to go in and apply it where I have larger pores. So on this side here, you can see my pores. Let me pop some of this on and I'm hoping that you'll be able to see the blurring effect that it gives. I really notice it once my foundation and powder is on. It just looks so smooth. So I'll just put the rest of that on my nose. I might even take a little bit more and just pop it on my forehead here, kind of in between my brows where I also have some large pores. So you can see how it has a bit of a glow. It's very hydrating and as I said, I hope you can see that it kind of blurs the skin there. It smells really good as well and I am just really enjoying this primer. It definitely lives up to the hype. Now I don't have a new foundation to test out so I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match and this is in the shade 0.5N. I'm actually filming a reel for Instagram with this foundation. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram but if you do you may have seen I'm doing some work for Priceline. <laughs> like my favorite place on earth. So I am creating a bunch of reels for Priceline's Instagram. If you haven't seen them, I would love it if you would go and check them out, give them a like, leave a little comment. It would mean so much to me. So I'm going to apply this foundation off camera so that I can film my next reel and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my foundation and concealer on. I applied the CoverGirl True Blend. I did end up picking up another shade. This is L4 100 Classic Ivory, which is deeper than the previous shade I had, which I think was L100, which was way, way, way too light. This is a perfect match for me for what I like in concealers. It matches my skin tone and yeah, I just prefer it and it's a good shade. So onto powder. I have a new one here by Designer Brands. This is the Skin Renew Ceramide Press Powder and I have the shade Classic Ivory. This one says it minimizes shine and creates a soft finish that doesn't cake or flake. All right, now it does look a little bit deep for my liking, maybe like just a touch. Let's see how it goes. So I'm taking this highlighter brush also by Designer Brands. I like it for powder under the eyes because it's small and it's tapered. I'm going to grab a little bit of powder and just lightly press that under the eyes to set. Mm, already I can tell that it is too dark. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but it's just a smidge too deep. There are only four shades available from what I can see and Classic Ivory is the lightest. Look, I think I might have to give that one a miss and just go in with my CoverGirl powder because I don't want to put it all over my face and then it will be way too deep. For bronzer, I've actually got two here, so I'm going to do one on each side. First up is the Essence Sun Matte Bronzing Powder, and this is in the shade 01 Natural. And then next, I have the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter in the shade 005 Havana Gleam. Let me show you them side by side. Okay, so let's go in with the Revlon one first because it does look a little bit lighter.
All right, that's applying really nicely. I'm liking the pigment, it's not too much. It's definitely building up, not too warm in undertone either. Ooh, this could be a good one. And then go in with the essence on the other side. I'm actually a little bit scared this might be too warm now, just seeing them side by side. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't have too much pigment, so I'm just building it up. Okay, some pigment would be nice. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I feel as though the Essence definitely does have a bit more warmth to it when you compare it to the Revlon. I've just swatched them both with my fingers and the Revlon does feel nice and creamy and smooth. And like I said, has a little bit of a sheen, whereas the Essence is a little bit more powdery and a matte formula. So here's the Essence, which I am struggling to get more pigment. And then this is the Revlon. It'll be interesting to see the longevity between the two. I have a feeling the Essence might wear off a bit quicker, but we'll see. For blush, I have been so excited to try this. It's the NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint. And this is in the shade Baby Doll. Now, this shade is a lot different than what I thought it would be when I bought it online, but that's okay. We'll see what we can do here. So this is a mousse formula and it has a doe foot applicator. So um, this is the shade. <laughs> it's so bright. Let me try and think of the safest way to apply this. I'm going to take the bum of my sponge for one side and then I actually picked up a new brush by Real Techniques. This is the Instapop Cheek for Blush brush. This is what it looks like here. I love the angle that it's on. This is going to be so nice for cream products. So I think I'll use this on one side and the sponge on the other. Oh, she is pigmented. Oh, damn. It is blending out beautifully, though. It's not drying super fast, so I'm able to work with it. And I have powdered my entire face, and it doesn't seem to be picking up any of the makeup underneath. Oh, okay. Okay, look. She's bright. <laughs> but I'm really liking the formula. Okay, I think that is the best I'm going to get out of that one, just trying to soften it a little bit. It actually has a bit of a sheen to it, which is very nice. Hmm. <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh my God, this is so pigmented. Okay, oh no. I'm really stuffed up. Look how much I've got on. Oh, Tanika. <laughs> Shit. Okay, okay. Let's um get the sponge and try and pick a bit of that product up, hey? Oh no, 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 no. So I'm just using my sponge that has like foundation residue on it to kind of pat around the edges and over the top to hopefully soften this out. Good news, it's not ruining the makeup underneath. Let me just get a little bit of um, powder as well and try and lighten this up, hey? <laughs> oh God. Okay, so things we've learned about the blush, very pigmented. A little goes a very long way. I think where I went wrong with this side is that it looked a little patchy, so I went in for more to try and blend it out, but then it was just too much and it blended out anyway. So even though it looked patchy, if I just kept working with it, I think it would have blended out fine. I did not need to go in for more. I think the sheer application, it's actually a really nice shade. I do like a blush that pops because I feel like it just gives a lot of life back to my fair skin. So this shade might work. I think I just need to be very careful with it. I'm super impressed with the formula though, so I might have to check out some other shades as well and just see 
what they've got. As for the brush, I'm really excited to continue using this. It will even be really good for bronzer. <gasps> and this isn't drugstore, but I did pick up the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer the other day. And oh my God, it looks quite deep in the pan, but once you blend it in, <gasps> it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So this brush, I think is going to work well with that product. But anywho, back to the drugstore. Next, I have the Revlon Skin Light Face Glow Illuminator. This one is in the shade 300 Sunrise Luster. And this is one of those illuminating products that you can use in quite a few different ways. So you can use it all over your face before your foundation. You can mix it into your foundations. You can just apply a little bit as a highlighter. So I did use it the other day all over my face and it was beautiful. Today I'm going to use it as a highlighter and see how it goes because I already put on the marshmallow primer so I didn't want to put this on too. So this is the shade. It's a light gold. It has a very beautiful glow to it and it's a nice creamy formula. <gasps> Look at that. Oh yeah. I think I'm going to use my finger and let's just tap a little bit of that onto the cheekbones. Oh, that is pigmented. It is showing my pores a little bit more than I would like. Hmm. I think I would prefer to use this one under or mixed in with my foundation rather than on top like a highlighter because it's just showing these pores. And we don't need that, okay? <laughs> For brows, I've been using the Revolution Soap Brow for a bit over a week now, and I'm not really digging it. It comes with this little, like, mini toothbrush kind of applicator, and I don't know, it just is a bit weird. Like, the handle's too short, it's uncomfortable to use. And then as for the product itself, I just don't think it has enough grip to it and it leaves too much of the soap residue. So even though this is clear, it leaves little chunks in your brow. And so I haven't really been loving it. Like I've already used it. I put it on before my foundation. And so I brush the hairs up with the soap and then I take the other end and flatten them down. And I just feel like they don't really stay in place, which is the whole point of soap brow. And you can see in this brow here, the little white dots I'm talking about. So yeah, I don't recommend this product. I prefer using my bar of pears, $2 soap, <laughs> much better. Another brow product from Revolution I have to try is the Bushy Brow Pen. Now, if you're around my channel often, you would know how obsessed I am with brow pens. They just add in such fine strokes that really make your brows look bushy and just natural. Oh, I love them. So this one here is a little bit different because it's on an angle as opposed to like a thin tip, like a liquid eyeliner. This is in the shade Ash Brown. It does look very orange when you first swatch it, but it will dry down to a deeper color. So that's a fresh swatch and dry down. I'm going to go in with a bit of brow powder first, just to fill in the front. All right, now let's go in with the pen and draw some strokes. Oh yeah, this is working very nicely. It is a little bit scary how orange it is at first. And I'm hoping it dries down like it did on my hand. It's taking a bit longer. Look at those tiny little strokes though. I love that. Okay, it's still very orange. And like I know I have orange hair, but I don't like orange brows. Oh my God, it is not drying down the same as it did on my hand. This brow looks maroon. Are you kidding me? I am really loving how precise it is and it does make my brows look so much bushier. But like, what is the color doing? <gasps> okay, I'm just gonna leave that for a minute. Okay, for eyeshadow, I have a palette by Milani, and this is the most wanted in Partner in Crime. Now, Milani is one of the newer brands to Priceline. I feel like they don't have that much to offer, and it's a little bit expensive, 
but I picked up this palette. It was $20. Let's just give it a go. So this is an all matte palette and this shade here is calling my name. I'm just going to put this all over the lid and blend it into the crease. Oh, this would be like the perfect everyday shade. It's just adding a little bit of color. See the difference between having it on the lid and nothing on the lid? Ooh, yeah. Okay, it's blending really nicely. Good pigment, feels smooth and creamy, it's not chalky at all. Let me take a little bit of that same shade and put it on the lower lash line. Then I'm just going to dip into this shade here and deepen up the crease a little because you can't really see that. That's also a really beautiful shade. It does look quite warm in the pan, but it's not too warm on the lid. It goes really well with that lighter shade. On the other eye, I'm going to try this shade and see how deep that is. Again, coming off very cool tone. Did you just see that fly? Like what is with it every time I film? Hmm, okay, well I am liking these shadows so far. I really wasn't expecting that much, but they're blending really nicely and I'm loving the tones. I don't think I'm actually going to finish this look because my brows are, are cooked. What is this? It's actually like red. It's red. <sighs> there is one more product that I want to try and it is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Setting Spray. This says it's a multitasking spray. It's sensitive, it's skin friendly and I'm getting like MAC Fix Plus vibes. So look, let's just spray it on. <gasps> Oh, that's a nice mist. Mm-hmm. Soft, gentle, relaxing. Mmm, that feels good. It doesn't really have a scent. I'm not really expecting it to make my makeup last longer. As I said, it's more of that MAC Fix Plus vibe, so kind of like set all the powders in just really freshen the makeup. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna end it there. The brows really ruined it for me. Like, I know the blush was a bit of a wall moment, but I felt like I kinda, kinda fixed it up a little bit, but then the brows, I'm just like, what's the point in even completing this? So. All the products I've used, I will list down below in the description box. I'm definitely going to give the blush another try. Now that I know how it performs, I can definitely work with it better. The eyeshadow palette, I'm excited to give another go. And I think that the Revlon bronzer is going to perform a bit better than the Essence, but I will still test them both out and you can expect a review in an upcoming quick reviews video. Love, love, love the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I think I'm really going to like this spray as well. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh my God, what a video. Well, if you enjoyed watching it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've tried any of these products and what your thoughts are on them. I just cannot get over my brows. Like what the actual F. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I will list some more of my testing Aussie drugstore makeup videos down below for you to go and binge. If you're not already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram and it would really mean a lot to me if you would go and check out my Priceline Reels. I promise the makeup in the Reels is much better than this. <laughs> Alright, well I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh my god, that plane just interrupted me!